Hey Aries, and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your 12 Zodiac compatibility for January 2019 and beyond. Um, this will be how you match up uh, with each one of the Zodiacs. Uh, so you'll see how it goes after I get going here. So Spirit Angels, can I get one card for Zodiac that Aries is dealing with? Thank you. All right, so Aries dealing with Aries. We'll start out right there. Aries dealing with Aries. Aries dealing with Taurus. Aries dealing with Gemini. Aries dealing with Cancer. Thank you. Aries dealing with Leo. Aries dealing with Virgo. I had to think there for a second. Aries dealing with Libra. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. Aries dealing with Scorpio. Aries dealing with Sagittarius. Aries dealing with Capricorn. Aries dealing with Aquarius. And Aries dealing with Pisces. All right. So Aries, if you're dealing with a fellow Aries, you guys will be um, equaling out the balance between the two. For one group of you, you are in the midst of a divorce. If you are not currently in a divorce, then that's not you. If you are literally in court with another Aries, your the judgment is going to come out fair, balanced, and in your favor. If you are not in a divorce hearing as we speak, you are going to be um, finding much balance with this fellow Aries and much success. This relationship will be built on a solid um foundation where you both have the same values, the, both have the same wants, wishes, and desires, and it will be an equal give and take in the relationship. If you are dealing with a Taurus, there's an imbalance of energy here. Either you are not um, investing as much or they are not investing as much in the relationship. Um, a balance needs to be made between the two of you if you want to find success in this relationship. Um, I don't see a third party situation with this. However, I do see one of you is not contributing as much as the other. So um, find balance between the investment in emotions, the investment in time, and um, how much you're wanting to um, spend with this person. If you are dealing with a Gemini, you have the Page of Cups. They are going to make you a love offer. May not be everything that you had hoped, but it's true love. It's real love. It's nothing um, that you should fear or um, feel isn't true it's just as much as they can give at the moment so if you are dealing with a gemini it is true love however you are hoping for a little bit more give this person time they will um invest more into the relationship at the moment this person is getting out of the situation however that they have to uh, allow that cycle to end and then they'll be able to contribute more to the relationship if you're dealing with a cancer, there could be secrets between the two of you. Um, it's a very secretive relationship. This person um, kind of sees things in a different way as you. You see it as black and white. They see it as um, gray is okay as well. So they may not be um, revealing everything about themselves. Um, I don't feel it's a bad energy. I just feel they don't, um, they don't offer as much information as you would hope. Um, they kind of feel, well, if you didn't ask, it's not a lie. So make sure you're asking a lot of questions. And um, and this relationship will be successful. I do see they just view a relationship a little bit different than you do. But you will find success within this relationship. If you are dealing with a Leo, they are not um, coming forward as fast as you would like. They are not offering you what you had wanted. Um, I do see if you're dealing with a Leo, this could possibly be coming to an end because they're just not contributing as much to the relationship as you have hoped, want, or need for you to find success within this person. If you are dealing with a Virgo, they are coming out of a divorce or um, cutting themselves away from a situation that they were in for quite some time. This person um, could be emotionally distant because they have a lot of things going on within their own life, within their, within their own mind. Um, be patient with this person. I do see success with uh, this Virgo. If you allow them the time to heal from things that um, they were wounded from in the past. 
I do, however, see some of you um, are thinking about divorce but decide not to go through with it. You decide to give this relationship a second chance. I do find su I see success within that as well. <clears throat> you just both have to contribute work to the situation. If you are dealing with a Libra, this person comes in strong. This person comes in offering you a new beginning very quickly, very passionately. And this person is um, speaking all the truth. Um, you are kind of hesitant to uh, give this person a second chance. This person could have lied to you in the past, but they have been awoken to the connection that the two of you share. And this relationship with this Libra will be successful if you give this person a second chance. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, this person could have hurt you in the past. Uh, they're emotionally drained. You're emotionally drained. And I do see this relationship between Aries and Scorpio not um, lasting as you guys are at the end of an emotional cycle and need to close the chapter, need to close the book to that situation. A lot of hurt going on between the two of you. Um, you could have children with this person, so you are holding back leaving. But however, I do see with this situation, it do, does come to an end within the next year. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, Good things are coming for you guys. Um, I do see marriage in the cards for the two of you. You're both very spiritually connected. You're both connected to source strongly. This person has a high um, level of faith, uh, a high, they're very connected to source, like psychically. Um, this person is very successful in committing to what they believe in, as are you, Aries. This relationship is a match made in heaven. For this group of you, you two will find success and commitment within the year. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, this person's coming in fast, sweeping you off your feet and knocking you over with the love bug. This person is awesome. They uh, they just are here to win you over at all costs in a very positive way. This person is real. They um, say how they feel. They tell it how it is. There's no sugar coating, but um, it's a breath of fresh air for, th for this group of you who are dealing with Capricorn. You deserve this. Enjoy this. Um, enjoy this connection with Capricorn. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they are passionately coming in for you. Um, a lot of sex. <laughs> this person is hot and heavy for you. Um, I don't see them as flighty, though. This person is coming in with a lot of passion, and that pa passion will stay with you for a long time. This connection is amazing as well. This Aquarius really has it. Has They just love you. Um, this will ascend to a higher level of commitment as well for this group of you because they're coming in speaking the truth. They're not flighty like this card um, a lot of times uh, portrays, not this Aquarius. They're coming in passionately for you and they want a long-term commitment with you. And I do see that also being very, very successful. For those of you dealing with Pisces, hello, soulmate. So the two of you um, are finding your way back to each other. Lots of love um, and equal give and take. This is a soulmate twin flame connection for you, Aries. Um, hold on tight to this person because they are going to give you many, many years of love, devotion, and just an exciting new life. Um, this person is also very connected to source, also very, um, very passionate about their faith. And you feel the same way. So this will be a relationship that um, turns into a marriage and will last for the rest of your life. This is a long-term commitment. If you're not in the twin flame journey, this is a life or a life partner. You guys will be together for the long haul. So Aries, I hope you guys liked your 12 Zodiac rundown. Um, make sure you watch whoever you're connected with to see what card they get for your Zodiac. And then you can put the two together and get a better idea of what your next year looks like. But overall, you guys have a lot of beautiful connections, a lot of long-term commitments and life partners um, in there. So hold on tight to those loved ones because things are about to get very exciting for you and reach a higher level of commitment. So Aries, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I will see you next time. God bless.